Hi, this is Needleplingers.com and today I would like to show you how to do machine applique embroidery. Uh, you will need an embroidery machine to use this technique. Um, I have a Brother Innovis 4000D machine. I love to machine embroidery since it's a fun technique and allows you to add your own style to your quilt blocks. The block I'm going to demonstrate is from this um, lunchbox quilts um, pattern. I'm going to be working on this block right here. Um, and I purchased this pattern from my local uh, quilting store. So I have my, this is the fabric I'm going to sew it on. And I, I use stabilizer. Uh, the stabilizer I'd be using for this project is this um, Tear Easy Soft Lightweight Tear Away st Stabilizer by Sulky. Um, I really like the um, stabilizer. The pattern that I'm stitching uses what's called a placement stitch and a cutting, a placement stitch, a cutting stitch, and then a satin stitch. Um, some patterns I've used in the past um, do not have the placement stitch. They'll just have the cutting stitch. Um, if your pattern does not have the placement stitch, then basically what you can do is use the cutting stitch twice. And you'll, you'll see this when I um, show you how to do it. But um, th with this pattern, it's really nice because it has listed all the okay. stitches. So I've placed the hoop into my machine and I have my um, pattern loaded up in here. And so the first stitch that's going to do is the placement stitch, like I said. And usually they say in the instructions to do the placement stitch in a contrasting color. So I'm choosing to do the placement stitch in the brown color because I'm going to be making a brown ice cream cone using some brown fabric. And the brown is is going to be contrasting to the um, to this pink fabric that I have here. So I'm just going to have it stitch out the uh, placement stitch. Okay. So after the placement stitch is done, then you'll generally take the um, take it out of the machine and you can see there's just a little stitch there. So um, what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to use this fabric for my uh, ice cream cone, my ice cream actually. And what you need to do is cut a piece of fabric that's a little bit bigger than the, than the placement stitch. And you can do this by eyeballing it or, you know, any way that you find is easiest for you. But you want to make sure you, your fabric covers the entire placement, st uh, placement stitch and beyond it. So here's my piece. And you can see it's wider and taller than the placement stitch. You, you absolutely have to cover the entire placement stitch. And I'll be right back. I forgot some. Okay, what I forgot to bring over was my spray adhesive. Um, so I use this to, um, to uh, adhere the uh, piece of fabric onto the embroidery. Okay, so I sprayed the stickiness, sticky spray adhesive onto this fabric and I'm going to peel it off. You can use any kind of thing to spray it on. So then just place this over top your the whole placement stitch. So now the whole placement stitch is covered up. Next step, put it back in. The next is the cutting line. So um, I'm just going to use the same brown again because it doesn't matter. This this uh, cutting line isn't going to be showing later because what it does, it does the satin stitch over top. Okay, so we finish um, the cutting stitch, and 
so the this spray adhesive it isn't really um, strong so it lets you pull this uh, fabric back up afterwards so the next step is to take I have these um, curved embroidery scissors that are really good for um, cutting along the cutting line um, the curved ones are great because when you're cutting it keeps the uh, point away from your your good fabric where you don't want to make sure that you're not going to accidentally cut so what you do is you cut very close let me see if I can zoom in some so you can see um, you cut very close to the cutting line all the way around. Now, you know, I'm doing this right while I'm on the bed of my machine, but it might be easier to do it somewhere else. And see, the point is very good for getting into the corners. So I can put the point down at that point of my scissors. But otherwise, um, I'm keeping it up. So that I don't accidentally cut like the pink fabric. Okay, so as you can see here, I have um, trimmed around the whole outside of my uh, stitching cutting line. And so next step, I'm going to stick the um, stick it back in the machine. So my next stitch is going to be the satin stitch, which is the very small back and forth stitch. Um, I'm going to uh, start that stitch. Okay, so it's finished stitching that, um, the uh, satin stitch around the ice cream. So the next step is, you don't need to take it out. At this point, it's going to, the next stitch it's going to do is the placement stitch for the ice cream cone. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to still use this brown, because it's going to be covered up anyway. So I can just have it stitch my placement stitch. So as before, the next step is to um, cut a piece of fabric. Okay, I sprayed it. See you again. And I'm going to peel it off. And then I'm going to place this over top. The placement stitch. And put it back in the machine. The next stitch it's going to do is going to do the cutting stitch again. Okay, so now we've done that cutting stitch again. So once again, I'm going to take it out of the machine. You can see the cutting stitch on there. And I'm going to cut around the whole cutting stitch on the outside to trim the extra fabric. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so here you can see I've cut my fabric now down to the cutting stitch. And um, so I'm ready to do the satin stitch again. So stick, I'm going to put the, uh, put it back in my machine and then I'm going to start stitching the satin stitch. And this is the last stitch for this uh, pattern here. Okay, so that was the end of the sewing of the, this is the finished pattern. Oh. And what you can do now, you can see there's a little jump stitch there, or where it ended, and I can, um, just trim that. But other than that, I just take it out. I'm done with it in the hoop. And I can take it out of the hoop, and then I can remove the remove the um, the interface or the um, sorry the stabilizer off the back 
but then that's basically how you um, machine embroider or machine applique embroidery. So I really love this uh, type of embroidery because you get to pick different fabrics to, to suit your mood or what you want your uh, quilt to look like. So, and it's a little bit more customized than just, you know, having a pattern and just being able to change the colors. Here you can change the colors of your, of your threads and you can pick what fabrics and the fabrics can be plain or they can have patterns in them or whatever. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed the video, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Use the comments section to leave us a comment on this video or to suggest a video you would like to see. Find us on Facebook at Needle Pointers and share pictures of your projects. We'd love to see them. Also, visit us at needlepointers.com for lots of other machine embroidery projects, instructions, and supplies.